What is up guys? Welcome to the first random select daily. Uh, for today I have chosen to pick final round 16 which happened this past weekend, uh, March 29th to March 31st. So if you don't know what final round is, um, it is a fighting game tournament which uh, it's kind of like if you know like MLG or if you know um, uh, IPL I guess. It is a tournament that's held over a three day weekend but only for fighting games. So it doesn't have a Starcraft, it doesn't have a shooter. It doesn't have League of Legends or anything like that. It's just all fighting games. Every fighting game under the sea, even. And uh, this one, this specific tournament, was held in Atlanta by Larry Shimblanca Dixon. Uh, congrats. Is, I'm guessing 16 means 16 years. The thing with this one is I didn't watch all of them. I only watched Better Life 5, uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Street Fighter 4, and Marvel's Capcom 3. And even then, I didn't even watch all of it because I was kind of busy that weekend. But I would like to cover it and uh, kind of go through a little bit more. Uh, I'll just say, if you guys don't know, I might go into like more technical terms. So if you want to, uh, if you want to see the matches uh, or see the other results, I'm not going to go through the results of King of Fire 13 since I don't know who they are necessarily. Uh, go to SureYouCan.com. I'll leave a link probably somewhere. I don't know if it's on the screen or I'll just put it in the description. And uh, just scroll down. I'll you know you'll find final final round 16 results. Very easy to do, very easy to find, and if you want to watch, uh, and actually what's cool about it is they stream it in Team Spooky, twitch.tv slash Team Spooky, and twitch.tv slash, uh, I believe, Funky P, I'm not 100% sure what his link is. They're both there, both archived, and there's even more here for the other games in uh, 645 and stream off the hut, of the hut, sorry. <laughs> So if you want to watch them, go to their Twitch channels and look in their archives. I'm sure they will have them up there. I don't believe any of them require a subscription. So go at it. Please watch them. They're very fun to watch, especially the finals. Uh, once you get, when, Especially once you start getting to know the game. So it, it's very fun to watch. I recommend you definitely go to them. At least watch the top eight of the Capcom games. I would say the Capcom games are probably easiest to get into. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll start off with the first results of Better Life 5. Dead Alive 5, I didn't, so I don't know the Dead Alive 5 scene that well. Uh, I've, I'm, the only reason I even watched it was because I got Dead or Alive 3 as a child, and when I got Halo 1. So Halo 1 and Dead or Alive 3 are kind of almost the reasons why I'm, I love video games so much, so it, I just had to follow it. The results are Excalibur Blades getting first, which I believe he is a 14 year old kid, or some kind of young kid who has his father there and all that kind of stuff. Very good on him to get first. Very cool. With Helena and Alpha 152, which people don't say she's top tier, but apparently she got two of the top three. So, And then Helena. I know when I was following Better Life 5, which was the early days, Helena was considered really weak, but obviously doing very well here. Uh, Rikudo with Bayman. Always fun to see a grappler in the top three. And then Opito getting third. Chosen One getting number four with Brad Wong, which... Kind of a gimmicky character. And uh, Master, who's one of the best, I know one of the best Better Life players. I don't know how he's been doing in Better Life 5, but getting fifth with Hayabusa. Uh, very known for his Hayabusa play. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Better Life 5. I believe Better Life 5 was streamed on Funky P stream, so if you want to see that, go to Funky, P, uh, t Funky P's Twitch channel. Uh, next up, we have Arcade Edition, which uh, Arcade Edition or Street Fighter 4 kind of took a back seat like I didn't even know when this was played I knew when Street Fighter Cross Tekken was played and I'll get to that but I, I just saw the results like it just all of a sudden it was done and so uh, first was Infiltration who is right now the strongest for sure in Street Fighter 4 has been dominating since EVO which was July of last year and uh, so congrats to him getting first Ryan Hart all the way from Europe getting second Wolf Crone uh, this year or this tournament, proving that he is the best in America, getting third. Who he he for the longest time was one of the best uh, Street Fighter characters or players. I keep I keep mixing characters and players. Uh, but he he kind of had recently fallen off, but it's good to see him back up there. Uh, Latif getting fourth. Uh, Xian, one of my favorite players to watch, getting fifth. Kind of actually disappointing for him. He's been getting first in a lot of his tournaments, so. Uh, Knuckle Dew, I believe, in East Coast with a Guile and a, a Guile player getting fifth. XSK Samurai, who is, I believe, from California, like a middle California or north, closer to NorCal, I think, 
uh, getting seventh. Congrats to him. I believe going over Justin Wong, and then seventh being Ricky Ortiz. EG guys not exactly showing up in Street Fighter. Um, they don't use exactly the best characters. Flow was Fei Long pretty well, but uh, one of the most disappointing ones was uh, where is he? P.L. Balrog getting 25th. He won SoCal Regionals, which I believe is the most recent, uh, most recent one. And Punko also getting 17th. Not a very, not not the greatest showings for those guys, but uh, congrats to them. C.J. Truth, a very young player, getting 13th. And uh, yeah, congrats to those guys. Congrats to Infiltration. Very fun to see a top player who you know he seems very humble. Seems like a great guy to be around. And uh, you know, if you're gonna have a bad guy, quote unquote, for a game, Infiltration might be one of the most fun to have as a bad guy. Uh, next up, we have Street Fighter Cross Tekken, uh, version 2013. So there we see Infiltration again in second, but he was beat out, and he was very strong. Like Infiltration is known for winning a lot of Capcom games. So it, it, he won. Uh, Capcom had a 25th anniversary, and he won both Street Fighter 4 and Cross Tekken. So congrats to him on that. But KS Corn Seth Lol 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 or L O L O L O L O L O L getting first, who I believe is known as more of an online player. I think he's based in Detroit, which He's not had the strongest scene, uh, but congrats to him getting first over Infiltration. Can't be easy to go from online to offline. Uh, congrats to him, <coughs> especially using that Kuma. And then, of course, we have third, Justin Wong, probably my favorite character. I don't think he used Elena, Alyssa. That's one of his teams, but I think he used Farong Chun-Li as his main team in this stream, getting third. Uh, congrats to him, because he picked up Farong just... You know, before that, like, like I think after SoCal Regionals or ECT or I don't know, one of those. And he ends up getting third. Very good on him. LPN, part of the California scene as well. NorCal getting Horong Jury, getting fourth. Ricky Ortiz getting fifth with Rufus Chun, part of uh, NorCal as well. And then uh, Punko, prob I guess his best uh, showing. He might have had another better showing in one of the other games, but Punko is, has not really shown much. He has Nina Kazuya and Ria Kazuya uh, getting fifth and then Flo. Kind of disappointing actually for Flo because Street Fighter Cross Tekken is kind of his main game so uh, very strong player. I know he can get he can do better and I know he wants to do better uh, but congrats to him anyways. Congrats to the EG guys getting three out of the top eight. Very good. Then Dominion who did win one of the East Coast tournaments before this. I think it's a Tournament before SoCal Regionals. I'm 100% sure how that worked. Uh, but yeah, congrats to uh, uh, Seth. Oh wow, and I didn't even realize this. Infiltration resets and Seth comes back and winning 3 2. Congrats to Seth. Uh, winning when he needs to, winning it in the clutch. Not easy to do against someone like Infiltration. Uh, anyways, next we have uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Battle Royale, which is 5v5. So I just want to try to update this quickly. I don't want to rant on about it. So SoCal, which I, where, which is where I live, uh, has been heavily bashed for not showing its results because for the longest time it was a very strong scene, and I still think it's a strong scene. I just think people just, you know, they haven't been seeing as much. Uh, like the four of the top SoCal players didn't even make it out. Like Clockwork is a good player, but he's not even this really that strong in the SoCal scene. Like he, he. So, Clockwork is one of those players that can beat anyone, but can also lose to anyone, though, so there's that. But anyways, SoCal had also had two players that were coming in Fnatic and Knives, but they couldn't make it. And I, I think other than Justin Wong and Angelic, everyone else was replacements at one time or the other. Clockwork was a very early replacement, but DJ Divine and Combo Fiend, I would say, are not the strongest SoCal players. You know, no offense to them, very good players, but not the strongest in SoCal. Do help SoCal, make it to Grand Finals, winner's side, only to end up losing to Chris G of Team New York, 10-0, even though SoCal did put New York into losers. Uh, but Chris G, congrats to him, clinching it for Team New York over Team SoCal. And Florida, also very good showing for them. They did get 5-0 against Ray Ray, but... Uh, one of the team, those were one of those teams that weren't considered the strongest, and uh, but showed had a really good showing this uh, this tournament. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, so congrats to those three regions. I hope NorCal learns that if you just play the exact same team, you know, there's only multiple ways to play those teams. Like, you know, Magneto Doom is a very good core team, but in the end, it's also still just Magneto Doom. You know, if you know how to fight them, they're not exactly special characters to play against. You know what I mean? Uh, so I hope NorCal and SoCal. I'm honestly, I, I love these results. I love that NorCal wasn't, uh, didn't make top three. I like, I like the West Coast. West Coast is gonna be my top priority. Uh, but I kind of want NorCal to have its eyes open and you know maybe be put down a little bit, and I go like, yeah, we're the best region. They obviously aren't right now. Obviously, or not obviously, but. Uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the, this cur Curly Mustache Battle Royale was best of one, which is, you know, it, it's very unstable for a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament, but, you know, it, it's hard to deny results. Like, Chris G just won 10 0, so it's not like you can't be consistent in this game. People like calling it random, but the top players are always getting first, and, you know, just like, like, let's stop calling it random. It's not random. Even though Morgan Doom is kind of. The opposite of what Marvel's Capcom 3 stands for with every other character, but uh, we'll get to that later. Congrats to those three regions. I hope NorCal and SoCal can kind of work better together, have maybe get another aftershock going, and get make each other better. Stop fighting with each other. Stop separating our scenes. We are West Coast. Make us better. Let's do it. You know. Uh, and last but not least, Chris G does take the singles tournament as well. Uh, he was knocked into losers, I think, first match. 3-0 or 0-3 against Angelic, who was part of Team SoCal, but uh, Chris G does run the gauntlet, comes back from losers all the way from uh, pool play to win Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Congrats to him. Flocker from uh, Team Florida getting second. Filipino Champ from NorCal getting third. Moons, Ray Ray, and Dominion all from East Coast getting fourth and fifth. And then Justin Wong and Neo, both from California. Justin Wong, SoCal, Neo from NorCal. Well, they don't. They weren't born there. When I say from, I just mean that's where they're currently living. Uh, getting seventh. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Justin Wong can do. I don't know if he plans on ever leaving his team, Wolverine Storm Akuma team. It's a very outdated team. Uh, Akuma is still a decent anchor. I would say he's a little bit like Andy, where you know he ha he can kill in X Factor and he's very strong, but he's not a Virgil, which just goes crazy, goes nuts, and kills very quickly. And Storm, also a very weak character, not a great assist. Really, the only reason to have Storm there is you can do infants, and you can do a uh, Hailstorm team supers, which are very good. But you know, past that, it's Storm not the strongest character. So when once once Justin Wong loses Wolverine, he has to work really hard to win his matches. Uh, anyway, so that was final round 16. That was my thoughts. I didn't get to see too much about it. Hopefully, uh, this random sick late daily is a good idea. But uh, otherwise. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to leave some links, so showyoucan.com and uh, final round results, final round 16. And if you want to watch any of the stuff, go to do Team Spooky, twitch.tv slash Team Spooky, and twitch.tv slash FunkyP for games I specifically talked about, 6445 and uh, uh, Stream on the Hut, Stream of the Hut, jeez, uh, are the other streams that had probably like Persona and. Uh, the anime games and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this is not too long. And uh, I will see you guys later. Adios.